There's an opinion piece in the hill that raises my attention to exactly what the level of opinion pieces are in the hill. I'm fairly impressed. Every opinion piece sources some statistics or some fact. What this opinion piece does not seek to do is upset the status quo more than to keep politics desperate and hungry like a simulated cocaine addiction. I don't expect much else from a career Democrat, but I wish I'd see it. We don't need no more cocaine. No more white powder. Please. The author, Juan Williams, goes to great lengths to idolize late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So far, so good. The justices seem to have it pretty easy. Oh, how ignorance is bliss, I'm sure. I don't want to know. The author continues on to correlate for the leader the causation of fact. In 2013, the Supreme Court threw away the 1967 Voting Rights Act on a challenge by Republican challenges. And as a result of the 2013 Supreme Court decision, GOP-led state legislators and GOP governors in Florida and Georgia have passed laws and ordinances uh, obstructing access to the polls. Apparently, they are not alone. The author positions 14 states is guilty of overriding the good favor between Americans by creating animosity where previously only cranks existed. Sharks. It's the one word description for what I'm saying. Sharks. And I describe a desperate need to destroy a great society being able to be anything but a violent and desperate place full of charlatans and scams for what it can be called a democratic challenge is so good so far. However, I have to ask, what are the calls to create places of escape this year? Where are the calls to create shelters for those who would rather leave the GOP? Where are the calls for adult classes and critical race theory? Where is the radical progressive when it comes time to discern the good from the bad? The Democrat is my memory, sirs, would rather spend their time and their favor getting between a person's good sense and that person's zone of happiness, disrupting that person's best lived experiences from becoming age wisdom and effective stratagems. The Democrat is an institution of man children afflicted with madness. This is what it means to be for the patients running the hee ha ha hee ha. So, what are we looking at? Are we looking at an oasis or mirage? Did I just set a bag of dog poop on fire? Think about it. Since I have a little time left in my three minutes, I'd like to tell you that if you enjoyed this micro-podcast, I produce a compilation program at the end of each week that I have hosted by Anchor. I hope you'll help me get paid.